Okay, so they tried robbing me? Are you are you fucking what? No. Okay, look, here's the situation. So I'm out doing photography today. As everyone knows, I'm here in Aurora, uh, in Denver, Colorado. And I'm doing some photography. The next thing I know, I go to switch cameras. A moment later, I'm done. I'm getting ready to leave. Pull out. Start driving and realize, holy shit. Where's the main camera at? I stop. Turn around. Super quick. Go right back into the spot where I was at. Camera's gone. Really? So anyway, <clears throat> next thing I know, I'm sitting here trying to find every option possible. Turn around and find out that there's actually, and by the way, it got stolen from a historic, a historic site. Get the fuck out of here. Really? My rule has always been, it's not yours. Don't touch it. Leave it alone. Walk away. Whatever. Especially when you know that you saw the person out here doing what they were doing. As far as me doing photography, there was only one vehicle there other than mine. I saw that there was a camera at the Historic Society, so I ended up calling them. Nobody could help me. I called every possible person I could. I thought about calling Ghostbusters just in case. But the whole thing was no one could help me. And then somebody said, well, you got to call the police. And I'm like, end up contacting them. They end up telling me to go ahead and do an online um and on my report because you know the police don't take reports anymore you have to do that online whatever cool now i'm out of a very expensive camera at this point in time and at the same time what's even more so important than that is all the stuff that's on there all the stuff and it's not even just you know from today with the drive everything else but from earlier this year when I when I actually first got that specific camera and I like that camera a lot plus it's the camera that I usually stream on everything else but anyway anyway I end up going through my dash cam luckily my phone I also while driving use as a dash cam every now and again and it just so happened I had done so today so of course I'm sitting here thinking like what the hell am I gonna do? Go through the go through the video, come to find out, holy shit. I have their license plate and vehicle type. Call the cops right back. Talk to them. Like, listen, here's the situation. I got this. The guy ends up saying, Oh, well, that's an Aurora, that's an Aurora uh resident. Really? You know what I'm thinking? And if you don't know this, it's very easy, very easy to get the information you need just from having that. Anyway, I am talking to the cop and tell him, like, listen, all I need you to do, contact them. Tell them all I really want back. I want the camera back, yeah, but give me the damn memory card. Whatever. Leave it alone at that. Because otherwise, I'm going to have a problem. And I've given you all the information that I have, but if I have to go about it and do it myself, there's going to be a real problem. Because here's the thing. People need to understand. These hands are rated E for everyone. You could be 50, 60, 20, 18, it, these hands will catch you, like plain and simple. And if they catch you, it's a wrap. Especially when I'm that, like, it, it wasn't even mad. It was more disgusted by the situation. But anyway, so, the what I must say about the Aurora police, like, I know there's some bad shit about them too, but in this situation, they handled it. Next thing I know, there was a female officer. She contacted me, let me know, hey, so, you know, we're going to do what we can. And all I said to her was these exact words right here. Listen, you have that information. I have that information. One of us can go and talk to this person. Who do you prefer? And I said, listen, if you can, just even call them. Ask them, hey, you know what? Did you did you pick this up? Maybe they were to pick it up. Maybe they were to turn it in. I like to try and think the best of human beings, even though a greater deal of time human beings prove to me on a daily basis that they ain't worth. It. Anyway, next thing I know, a few hours later, 
literally as I'm sitting down having a delicious dinner, get a phone call. This is Officer So-and-so. I won't say her name, whatever. But if she ends up seeing this, thank you very much because you handled your business. And I, 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 I greatly appreciate that. And all I know is she said to me, magic words. I think I have your camera. I think. Nah, I know you got my camera. All right. So let's go ahead. Let's find out what the situation is. I told her I was at dinner. I'm going to leave dinner right now. I'm going to come. You know, whatever. She goes, no, nah, don't, don't, don't do that. I'll meet you at your hotel. I said, all right, cool. Perfect. I got here. They pulled up right in time. It's back. It's back. Anyway, no, but seriously. Yeah, no, they got it back for me. And I'm very, very grateful for that. So that was a uh, potentially disastrous sort of situation. Not disastrous, but in the sense of like for all that's on there, for everything that's been put into that thing and like, you know, yeah, it, it could have been a bad situation. But anyway, it was handled. But that's my story about getting, you know, uh, you know, robbed in Aurora. Y'all have a great evening, everybody who sees this. Gamers, I'll be back soon. Bros and sisters, do your thing out there. Live your life. Have fun. Enjoy it. I will see you very, very soon. We got a lot of content to cover, all right? Peace. I'm out.